Well, I'm in the car uh, heading to Perth to see my elderly parents, and uh, it's a long drive. But the thing I like about long drives is that it gives you time to think. And what I've been thinking about this afternoon is what gets people to buy, what what triggers the the buying button. And the more you think about it, the more it makes sense that people don't buy things; they don't buy stuff. You can post um, stuff on Facebook, you can boost posts, you can Instagram till you're blue in the face about the stuff you sell or the service you provide, but at the end of the day, unless you're selling a commodity like, I don't know, a fridge or, or a washing machine, um, and in that case all you're doing is competing on price, but if you're selling something that's personal to you that you've created, a service or a product that you're uh, intimately involved in, People want to know the story behind it, the story behind you and how you created whatever it is you sell. Because people buy stories, they don't buy stuff. And everybody, everybody has a story. And you might think that your story is boring. It's not going to interest anybody. That's because it's so close to you that you're familiar with it. But other people aren't familiar with it. And people want to do business with people not just faceless entities, so everybody has a story. So if there's a takeaway from this for the weekend, think about what your story is, what the story is behind the background of how you created the business, or where you've come from, or, or what the, uh, the, the, the road's been like to where you've got now. Anything but just trying to sell a product or service. So have a crack at it this weekend. Um, love to hear some stories next week on uh, on the um, on the Facebook group. Anyway, have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.